In what capacity did you start at the ACLU Foundation in 2005? I was the ACLU's first in-house lawyer. Um, my title was Senior Corporate Counsel. How much has Ms. Hurd paid directly to the ACLU? Um, I, that would be $350,000 paid directly. When we initially um, uh, had contact with Amber Heard in 2016, she indicated her desire to pay $3.5 million to the ACLU. And that was, and, and these were amounts that were in relation to that, um, her having expressed that that's what she wanted to pay to the ACLU. So it's fair to say that she has not donated $3.5 million as of today to the ACLU, true? That's true. Right. When you say that Mr. Depp, our client, donated $100,000 to be credited toward Amber Heard, did the ACLU in fact credit that $100,000 toward the $3.5 million Ms. Heard promised to donate to the ACLU? We do credit it. Did Ms. Heard direct you to credit it to, the, to her account, as it were? We asked Ms. Heard if we should credit it, and she said that we should. Mr. Doherty, have you ever seen Exhibit 46, which is ACLU Bates number 1287? Yes. What is it? This is a um, statement by Robin Schulman saying that, um, that the article that they're referring to basically, um, you know, recasts everything that is said, but, but ties it to Johnny Depp. So Ms. Shulman is agreeing with Mrs. White's characterization that uh, the USA took Mr. Ms. Heard to be referring to her allegations of physical violence by Johnny Depp, correct? Yes. And she says it's kind of amazing that they just grabbed the entire op-ed and rewrote it using Johnny's name. Why was it amazing? I don't know why she found it amazing. Because that was consistent with your understanding. She was referring at least in part to Johnny Depp, correct? Yeah, based on my review of prior drafts of the op-ed, I knew that, they were, um, that, that she was referring to Johnny Depp and her marriage. And directing your attention to the first page in this exhibit, do you see the email from Mr. Romero to Mr. Moresco, uh, subject a quick question. Uh, Mr. Romero asked, did Elon's other gifts come from Vanguard? To what does that refer? My personal knowledge is that Anthony was just asking whether um, other e gifts from Elon Musk had been issued from recommendations he made to Vanguard regarding his, um, his donor advised fund at Vanguard. And Mr. Moresco then responds, one of them, yes, his $5 million gift in February 2017 was from Vanguard. Do you see that? I see it. And if you look at the next page, Vanguard was the same entity that made the um, soft credit contribution in Amber Heard's name to the tune of $500,000, correct? Correct. And he says, in any case, my understanding was that the $500,000 from Vanguard was recommended by EM. Do you see that? Yes. And EM stands for Elon Musk, correct? Correct. And also in that email above that, uh, Mr. Moresco uh, states that Mr. Musk's $1 million gift in May 2018 was from Fidelity. Do you see that? Yes, he must have. Either that means a, se a separate donor advised fund he has at Fidelity or from Fidelity, um, you know, in, in direct investment accounts he has at Fidelity. I'm assuming the former, but I don't know. And if you look at the next page in uh, the Salesforce chart, the second payment credited to Ms. Hurd 
for $350,000 as of December 11th, 2018 came from that same fidelity, correct? I don't know the answer to that question. I know that um, it came from a fidelity donor advised fund, the $350,000, but I don't know if it is Elon Musk's donor advised fund at, the, at Fidelity. But it could be. It could be. Okay. Let's look uh, at the second page of the exhibit, an email from Tyler Richard to Jessica Weitz. Mm -hmm. Who is Tyler Richard? It's Richard Tyler and he, uh, and oh, no, it's Tyler Richard. That's right. Tyler Richard. And he is a senior person in our communications department. Uh, and Mr. Richard says, Amber Heard is an ACLU ambassador for women's rights since 2018. She has, she also pledged her full settlement to charity. Do you see that? I do. Um, and Ms. White's responds, yeah, I think that's safer. I had nightmares about this last night. I'm very upset. Do you think this is okay? Why was Ms. White so upset about the characterization of Ms. Hurd's charitable donations or lack thereof? My understanding is that as a communications department professional, um, Jessica was um, concerned about these um, news articles that were appearing and what impact they would have on, um, you know, the, 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 how the ACLU and its work with Amber is seen. She was concerned that the ACLU was not telling the truth about Amber's paying the 3.5 million, correct? I don't see it that way. I see it as her doing everything she can in order to produce a correct statement to the press. And can you generally just tell us a little bit about what you do uh, for Mr. Depp as his uh, security guard? Um, I will escort Johnny to everyday uh, public Places. Can you generally describe for us what you remember about the, the marks you saw on Mr. Depp? Yes, uh, as I was saying, in the prison service you're taught to uh, pick up log in your mind, mental, mental logging in your mind, marks, bruises, bully patterns, stuff. What I noticed straight away was most of these marks and most of these things through my training, it's happening in the left hand side of his face, and it would be scratches on his neck, maybe a, a, a fat lip in the corner, maybe a bruising on, on the eye socket. Um, dull impacts, you know, except for obviously the scratches, maybe on his, below his left ear. Sometimes it'd be two, two marks, two lines, two trams, one. Yeah, you know, yeah. And it was getting it was getting more regular. As I say, not every week, but it was definitely happening. Yeah. Can we see um, plaintiffs' exhibit one sixty two, please? And Mr. Connolly, uh, are you able to see the picture on? I, I assume you can see it on your screen. Yeah, just can I see it, please. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. And do you? Uh, is, um, yeah, I I know that picture. I took that picture. You that took the picture on the orbit. Yeah, I took the picture. Can you just quickly tell us uh, what, what this picture is? This picture is a uh, Miss Heard and Johnny's honeymoon. All right, and, and Mr. Connolly, I apologize for cutting you off, but could you just continue to describe for us uh, what we're looking at in this picture? Yeah, as I said, the guy in the bow tie, he's the um, guest relations manager. He was detailed to, you know, fix us up with anything we needed, uh, you know, to excursions and transports and stuff then it's Miss Heard. the guy that's the chef he looked after this he looks he, he cooked for us he great chef by the way uh, yeah he looked after us and that's Johnny and I also notice if you look at that picture like I said on the left hand side under his eye there's a swelling and you see a, a swelling just on the left hand side of his nose and under his left eye and what do you interpret that swelling to be do, what, do I, what do I interpret it as? That's uh, either he's, he's walked into a door or a door's walked into him. Okay. 